Well, the Revelation's main Easter egg is finally solved, or is it? I'm Crash Power. Thanks for checking out the video. Recently, we were able to solve the Black Ops 3 Revelations Easter egg and trigger its ending cutscene. However, the ending isn't conclusive. It shows that there might be a bigger secret to uncover than the ending cutscene Easter egg. Here's what we know so far about the Revelations map. We now have a full list of Easter egg steps that lead to the ending. The boss battle that actually happens between the Shadow Man and Sophia and the main characters. Once the Shadow Man is defeated, the ending cutscene rolls in. We were successful in defeating the Shadow Man, and then Maxis and Sophia collide into the Revelations map, fixing it back to normal. However, our four main characters are still considered threats, since their existence could endanger Dr. Monty's world. Fortunately, Dr. Monty takes Richtofen's suggestion, taking them to some place they've never been before and we find them in the medieval era wielding four elemental staffs from the origin zombie map in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Potentially, there are still more adventures to be had after triggering the Black Ops 3 Revelations Easter Egg. In this video, I'm going to make some very valid points that might also make you believe that this is true, that something is missing. After this seems all said and done, there's something that we have not revealed in Revelations yet. And I want you to listen to these few points and let me know what you think in the comments below. Point number one, nine trophies instead of ten. Every DLC with Black Ops 3 has had ten achievements or trophies in them, except this one, DLC 4. This may mean nothing, but it's an odd number. Two of these are a secret description, and it kind of makes me think that they're holding off for the release of the DLC for Xbox and PC users to give us another Easter egg, another main quest, or the real Easter egg. In the past, Treyarch has done this with, uh, for example, with the Zetsubo no Shima map. The round 50 Easter egg didn't come into effect until the DLC was released for Xbox and PC users. This by itself definitely doesn't prove anything, however, I do think they're going to release something extra. For the Xbox and PC users, whether it's a big deal or a little deal, who's to know? But there will be something added when the DLC is released for Xbox and PC. Point number two, the real decryptor fixer, or the real DF on Reddit. I first heard about this guy from Josh Keatley's video showing us some of the found Easter eggs, encoding showing some of the unfound Easter eggs at the time, and he's been a dependable source. For example, in the post that I'll link in the description below, he lists coding uh, showing that there are two unfound Easter eggs, one of which is a doppelganger jump scare Easter egg before we had discovered it. The Real Decryptor Fixer, or the Real DF, as he's known on Reddit, is a very well known person. Basically, he said multiple times, in fact, starting mo four months ago with the Zetsubono Shima map. He cracked open the code and showed us that here he noticed two entries called Dark Ops Island Easter Egg and Dark Ops Island Super Easter Egg. He made another post later. Link will be in the description below. Every map now has a Dark Ops Challenge added to them that are all labeled almost identical. And the name couldn't be any more convincing of a large cross map Easter Egg. So now every map has a challenge named Dark Ops Super Easter Egg name like ZOZ, Factory Castle, and so forth. Point number three, the interview with Jason Blundell at COD XP. Jason Blundell, the director of Treyarch Zombies, in an interview with one of YouTube's largest zombie YouTubers, Mr. Dalek JD, Blundell said, If you come to the conclusion that you are done in DLC 4, you are wrong. This is yet another sign pointing to the fact that there may be something extra after we've solved this current Easter egg. Also, I don't know about you, but what about the Deg Margulhart in Shadows of Evil? The Cocoon locations? The, the, there's so many things that are yet unanswered. And the ending cutscene. Do you not remember that Max has said in Origins when this all started? The paradox must be resolved. The loop must be closed. Well, after you watch the ending cutscene, I'll, I'll show you here in just a second. Do you feel like the cycle was broken or completed and repeated? After all, the secret achievement for completing the Easter egg is a better tomorrow in Revelations. Complete the cycle? Sophia. Maxis. You know what we must do, my dear. Yes, my love. We will do it together. As one we are. Now. And forever.
With the evil vanquished, I can start making it all nice again. No undead, no apothecums, no shadow man. All of it gone. Forever. But it, here's the funny thing. You snowflakes shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. Those blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Well, you certainly can't stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over. Or I just wipe you from existence. Ooh, hang on. Actually, that all works out perfectly. From the very start, when we first found out about Dr. Monty, I swear that guy is evil, but apparently he's our ally? What if there is an alternate journey or an alternate Easter egg? What if we did this Easter egg incorrectly and Monty is actually evil and he's getting us to repeat the cycle so he can remain omnipotent? What if he's actually the bad guy after all? I know, now I'm really, really digging and hoping for a plot twist, but you know, he could just wipe them out of existence. but. Then he goes ahead and puts them back in the Primus era, in the medieval times. But they were already there, weren't they? I'm going to stop speculating about that and ask you to take a poll right now on screen. Do you think Monty is actually good or evil? Click now to vote. So, there's some pros and cons to this argument. First, the fact that we both get secret trophies when we completed the main Easter egg. The Wisp, that we presume to be part of the Super Easter Egg, has actually now found a use. Treyarch has never actually added an Easter Egg after launch of any DLC. And finally, Treyarch time getting the Super Easter Egg would probably go against the 30-day first deal Sony has with Call of Duty. Uh, and finally, one more thing for the argument. Since its release, the performance of the Revelations map has been very glitchy. It could simply mean there is another quest or another easter egg for us to find, but either it's extremely difficult or we're not able to actually do it until they make another hot patch to where we can find it. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think there's actually going to be more? Or is this something that we, the loyal and avid fans of Call of Duty Zombie franchise, are conjuring up out of thin air in desperation as... We dread our three-year hiatus. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Kill the furry monkey! The quality of the gun is not as important as the bad motherfucker holding it! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, I got... Oh! 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 I got music! Somehow I got music! Nice. I just got it on the house. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fucking him up! Oh my god, I'm on the top! Look at this! 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 Look at